Nah. So, it's the end of the show for tonight. It is Tuesday. I think it's Wednesday. It was Tuesday when I started. And, uh, yeah. So, I want to show you what I got done. So, this is the recap of live show. Uh, Fire Pinto just got up and, uh, he saw me when I went to bed. And, yeah. Now he's up. So, he actually, <laughs> what's, what's he say? It's Tuesday. Oh, okay. Well, good. See? That's what I got friends for. To tell me what day it is. So, um, yeah, I wanted to show you a few things, uh, what I got done. And, yeah, let's get started. So, uh, I reworked this thing. This was totally disassembled. Um, you can see what I did back here. I uh, added a little shield. This is some real thin plastic. And, uh, you can see it there. So I added that on there. Um, just to cover from splashes and spills. Um, the main reason for that is because I kept getting wet when something would go bad. So now I can spill and splash and not have to do it to worry. The water can just run under it. There's, it's sitting on spacers. I did retube some of this stuff. Uh, added a little bit different port for my drain. Uh, I was doing some testing here. Uh, and I'll show you that before it's over. Um, added some clear tubing up here so I could see what was going on a little better maybe. I did rework this thing. Uh, still not exactly the way I think, but the more air I got here, the better. That's really what it comes down to. Um, I did rework this. Um, if you haven't seen this, uh, this is Bill's split gas cell. And basically I reassembled this thing on a new jig. I had this on a piece of wood. And it was leaking here and there. Uh, it was doing some funny stuff and I wasn't too fond of it so I re-glued every connection everything's been redone um, you can see back here uh, that looks kinda bad but that's just what happened where these came out could put a lo longer hose on there uh, but re-glued all this stuff um, everything's been re-glued re the top but you can see I put this on this nice uh, aluminum frame. This is called, uh, catch my discs. Uh, this is 80-20. Uh, 80-20. Uh, so if you guys want to find out what this stuff is or how I put it together, it's 80-20. Some scrap I had from work. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. It looks really nice on this little stand. Um, yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing here is testing my fittings. And as I suspected, well, first of all, you can see uh, um, how this fitting's together. And I did drill a hole in the front of this, like I said I was going to. That's just air leaking there, but um, yeah, let's put it in the water, and we will turn this on. We'll get some gas flowing out of here. Bubbles are moving real fast. Alright, but there you can see. Bubbling away. Um, and as I suspected, there's... I'm going to get this hose out of your way. There's some air coming out of the back. And the rest of it is coming out of the front. Now one thing I noticed is uh, the air almost leaks around the edges of where the discs the disc come in, comes in contact with the front so it's kind of weird I did have a leak back here and I fixed it that leak on the side just one of those things I told you you're gonna have to, we're gonna have to figure out with some sort of a certain heat tape something like that I did find that if I turn this just the right spot it also leaks out of the top so I gotta have it in just the right spot or else it leaks up there but uh yep so that's what it looks like in case anybody was curious um I 
doing that. My water's getting really mucky. Uh, I was going to go out in the garage. I was going to go out in the garage and play with this uh, with this uh, with this head here and see what happens. Uh, one thing I will show you real quick. I got to find the right tube, but this here is a static mixer. If I can get it out. Alright, so here's what it looks like. This is a static mixer. And um, I'll actually be taking these two gases and running them through this static mixer. Uh, hydrogen, oxygen, for those of you who haven't seen this, this is a split gas cell. It separates the hydrogen and oxygen separately. And I want to run it back in through this tube here. Uh, and kind of get it mixed back in. This is a static mixer for a uh, two-part epoxy gun, basically. And yeah, so that's kind of the idea and or plan. Um, but again, it is so cold. So cold outside. And uh, yeah, wasn't having it. Um, plus, I'm going to let the glue dry and see how it goes. Anyway, I'm really tired. Um, but basically the oxygen, I know it says hydrogen, but the oxygen will be coming out of this side and this is a, a catch because if you are using the hydrogen side and you close it off water flows through that tube in the back that I showed you and I was kind of kinked a little and it flows into the other side and pushes the water level up until it overflows and this is my overflow chamber so my oxygen will actually be coming out of here and if I get an imbalance it'll push the uh, water into this chamber. I've got a tube on it, I can just drain it, put it back in. So, there you go. Bill, this is kind of for you buddy. I tightened all of these bolts. Um, I kind of tightened them so that the plates looked straight across. Um, so I tightened the ends like a turn and then got these where they, they made a straight pass. Um, the other thing I did was add these two took these slid these two bolts out added these plates in there and that's just so I could bolt it down but uh, you know I retightened those back so this was nice and square but everything I did tighten about a turn on all the bolts um, so you can kind of get a judgment it, it was leaking pretty bad throughout so hopefully it won't be as bad now um, everything was leaking I, I used Teflon on plastic on plastic with that Teflon just it's just horrible so instead I used uh, glue. Matter of fact, I used the stuff right here. Um, I do prefer, if I can find it, it's hiding somewhere here. This is what I prefer. It's called welder. It's basically contact adhesive. Um, I, I just really like this. It's similar to hot glue. Um, as When it dries, you can still peel it off, but it seals real good. Um, this is the other alternative that I found. It's basically the exact same stuff. Um, but instead of using Teflon for this plastic on plastic, I use glue. You can see it there. Um, actually, yeah, I did glue down. But there's the other one. You can see how the you can see how it uh, kind of forms around there. It, it just seems to work real well, and hopefully it won't leak. I did the caps as well, so if you can't get them off, or if I can't get them off, if I ever ship this thing back to you when that day comes, if you can't get them off, I'll just have to buy you new ones. <laughs> so, anyway, I just want to show you guys what was going on. Peace out, Fire Pinto, if you caught that. He says he's out. He's done. So, I want to show you what I did. Um, but that's it. So, off to a new year. I was going to wind some uh, EPG coils back there. But, you got to remember... Uh, I gotta be quiet because everyone's in the house sleeping so I was gonna go out in the garage and wind coils it, it's just not worth winding coils in the 30 degree weather uh, 28s you know 20s I don't know I have to figure out another way to wind those things but uh, I probably will be kind of switching over to doing more of that I'll do a little bit more burn rate testing but I'll switch over more to uh, getting the EPG finished because this cold weather stuff is killing me. Um, I'd like to find a wood burning stove of some sort. If anybody's willing to donate an old wood burning stove 
uh, not necessarily a stove, but like a heater. It's be for the garage. I've got access to wood, firewood. I just don't have a heater. So if anybody's got one, send me an email. Uh, just out of curiosity, Bill, you'll be probably pushing me towards building a gasifier. That'd be sweet, but uh, you know, it is what it is. So peace out, guys. Have a good day. I will see you guys uh, in two weeks. My next live show will be a Sunday night, and I believe it's the 15th of January. Just to make sure, let me double check. Uh, the 15th of January will be the next time I go live. That'll be another late, late night showing all night long. Rocking out. Maybe we'll get to the garage. Uh, I got a little kerosene heater I borrowed from my grandma. It's okay, but I think Zero just got one for Christmas. And, you know, it kind of takes the chill off barely. But we'll see what happens. So, peace and love, guys. Thanks for all your support. Uh, my email is rwg42985 at AOL.com. Uh, you can also check out uh, open source open dash source dash energy dot org, and also rwgresearch.com. Peace and love. Have a good day. Be safe. Enjoy. See you guys.